When did you actually decide, sir, that you were going to oppose this adoption? Um, I came to my decision, I think, in the beginning of her eighth month. Why? I was having conflicting feelings. And I really just, I knew that I had to face them. I just knew that, that I, I couldn't give up my child. And you had I, done it once before. Yeah. Well, I mean, the most difficult part was actually coming to the decision before. I felt in my heart it was the best thing to do. You have a son now? Yeah. How old is the boy? He's a, he's a year and a month. Are you taking care of him? Yeah. He lives in your home? Yes. And you're not working? Not right now. So who's supporting you all? Um, we get um, government assistance. Why? Because he's not working. What about you? I, we're both looking for work right now. He receives unemployment, and we've registered with the Employment Development Department. They're helping us find work. We've gone to several staffing agencies, and um, as far as steady work, neither of us have found that yet. You better. Yeah. I cannot make an order directing you to reimburse the plaintiffs for the money that they expended and allowed you the luxury of being able to change your mind with regard to keeping this child. I can't do that because the law prevents me from doing that. I read your answer and you were very well versed with what the law is, but there is a certain morality that we all have to deal with. Do you both feel any responsibility to repay them for putting you in a position where you were able to keep your son? Yes. What about you? Um, seeing their intent to take our money that we used to feed this child that they wanted so bad and wanted to care for so bad, I don't feel so obligated. I mean... That's an excuse. They feel as if not only have they been made fools of financially, but emotionally was probably one of the most heart-wrenching times that they've had in their 14 years of marriage because they came this close within a month. So you didn't tell them until your eighth month. So they were waiting. I would estimate that they bought furniture, or at least looked at furniture, looked at strollers, got their house ready, and then 14 years' worth of hopes were dashed. So I do believe that you have a moral obligation. Since the two of you are now together, you're making a home for these two children that you have. But for the fact that they helped you, you wouldn't be in that position. I assume that you wouldn't have taken their money if you didn't need it to live. Yes. Is that right, sir? Yeah. Then you do have a moral obligation. Legally, they don't have a claim. Morally, they do. Got it? Mm -hmm. And I'm strongly going to urge you, madam, only have babies that you can take care of. How old are you? 20. Good luck. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Why is that excuse when you step out? He knew we had had two miscarriages and uh, weren't able to have a child of our own. This had all taken place three months after we had placed the other child for adoption, so we still weren't really over that. Um, it was very devastating for me, uh, having not had a child, and I hope by becoming public with this, it won't happen to other couples.